Hey everybody, let's have a look at one of the hardest part one questions of the self reading. Multiple choice questions, this is as hard as part four and it's even longer, so it's gonna be brutal. Let's look at this, understand the strategies we need to know for multiple choice questions and you can apply this for all four parts. Let's have a look, we got this question here, it's a letter, oh actually sorry, it starts here. So it's a letter that is written to Milan by Johnny. Then there's a response to Johnny by, you guessed it, Milan. We gotta answer these multiple choice questions. First thing is, if you wanna skim through, you can. I usually don't, but this is huge. This is, again, as I said, it's the most difficult part one of self that you will ever see. Let's have a look uh, very quickly. So this is a greeting, Josh, and then this is about financial issues and something about our full-time job, so that's about finance. This is about something experienced, grueling, assertive uh, employees. Okay, it looks like some difficulty with employees' administration. Once again, looks like work. Speaking of working together, they're talking about Mr. Berkeley, Sleepless Night, Sandy, completely honest. Um, I don't know what this is. If that's skimming through, sometimes you will not understand it. Next paragraph, very quickly. Who knows what would happen? Not in that position, department, hers. They're talking about her, maybe it's Sandy's department and some position. Then I have to say it feels good to write to you and they're talking about Elizabeth and aging and my health is suffering and he has cholesterol problems and blood and now this is about health and this is about greeting uh, as usual and that's it. Okay, so, so the skimming is fast. We just need to get an idea. You don't always have to do it, especially if it's not that long, you don't have to, but we did. So let's go quickly now and have a look. You wanna read everything here. Now you slow down, now let's listen. Dear Johnny, I'm very glad to hear from you. You're absolutely right. Okay, so this person is saying you're absolutely right. It means it's something that was mentioned here that he's agreeing to. Okay, fine. It has been over a decade, such a long time, a year since yesterday since we last talked. So this should be easy if we find a decade or 10 years. Now here is where I'm gonna be fast just for the purposes of this video, but you guys can pause it and read it if you like. Usually this thing, Anything about greeting should be in the first part, okay? Do we see the word decade here or 10 years here? No. You wanna skim through quickly, you would see decade right here, okay? So speaking of working together, I can't believe it was over a decade ago that you and I were competing over the promotion. So it's not, they were competing over a promotion, it's not been over a decade that they haven't talked, okay? You also read this last part, since we last talked. So it's not been over a decade since we last talked. Probably has been such a long time. It's been a year. If it's a year, they would mention it. And it's never been since, like, the, el eliminate these stupid options. Nobody writes a letter the next day, okay? So it's either such a long time or a year. <clears throat> Let's go back to the first paragraph. <clears throat> I feel so relieved to be writing to you after such a long time. Simple. The answer is gonna be such a long time because it's been such a long time since we last talked. Just to verify, does it, is it, has it been a year? No nothing speaks about the year in this case. Okay, that's the answer. Next one, what is this thing about your whatever? Okay, all of a sudden. Now, if you go for health, job, business, daughter, they were all in different paragraphs, which we know from skimming through, so you would have to read a lot of things. Why don't we, why don't we get some clues from here? Sometimes when you see a big sentence right after uh, the question sentence, it means there's some clue here. They wouldn't write it for no reason. So the thing is, what is the thing about your whatever? All of a sudden, I remember you used to be in an excellent state before. Have you not been exercising as much? Obviously, they're talking about his health because he used to be in a good place. So have you not been exercising? It's all about health, not job, business, or daughter. You don't even have to go up. You can just get, get the answer from here. In some cases, you should because the time is running out too. You can't always go up and down. Use common sense as well. Next topic. Plus, I don't see how Elizabeth's thing, Elizabeth's thing makes you whatever. So now we have to see what is being said about Elizabeth, okay? Elizabeth, you want to skim through and you will find her right here. At the same time, our daughter Elizabeth was having her first child, which is why we had several family duties to attend. Okay, so that's one thing about Elizabeth. She was having a child. Look at Elizabeth again. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This is about, you know things about business, like this and this are, these paragraphs are about work, so they're not probably gonna talk about the daughter or the wife. This paragraph talks about Elizabeth again. So, but now I am getting older, especially after what I mentioned to you about Elizabeth. What did he mention about Elizabeth? That Elizabeth is having her first child. 
Elizabeth is his daughter, having the first child, so that makes this guy feels old. Because he's saying, especially after what I mentioned to you about Elizabeth, I feel like I'm getting older. The answer is going to be, where is that? Old, right here. So the sentence is, plus, I don't see how the Elizabeth thing makes you old. Why do we know this? Because we went to Elizabeth. There's only two things being said about Elizabeth. We found it and came back down and answered. So we're analyzing the keyword in this case. We looked at the keyword, went back up, read it, came back and answered. Next, I just think it's a change in your routine that might be causing it or maybe the stress from the. Okay, so what is, uh, what is uh, it? Okay, well, they were talking about health. So there's health and he doesn't see why he doesn't see why Elizabeth thing thing Elizabeth's thing makes him old. So we're still talking about health and he's saying I just think it's a change of routine that might be causing it or maybe the stress from the this is where it gets tough because now you have so many things. It's a stress from the business or is it more financial resources? Is it the subway fiasco? Or is it the new grandchild? Now you have to go back up, read everything about the grandchild, read everything about business financial resources and subway. There's no good hint provided in this sentence because the stress could be in business and, and, all, and all these things. Now you have to read most of the letter and that's okay. We did some good strategies here, but now we have to read most of it, which we'll do right now. One thing you always wanna do is eliminate the nonsense. There's sometimes always a nonsense answer. For example, the new grandchild. Why would anyone say that it's a ch it might be causing, or maybe the stress from the new grandchild. Why are people stressed about the grandchild? It doesn't happen. So the only, only options we would have are these ones. Let's look at the business, financial resources, and the subway fiasco. Let's go up. Okay, so uh, you guys can read it, all right? I'm not gonna read the whole thing because I have to do this video, but uh, you can pause and read. Basically, in this paragraph, he was talking about the financial issues with Subway and uh, the business failed, which is where they were saying that uh, at the same time, okay, all in all is what Grace Summer kept, okay, Grace kept the business. Main, the main thing was here, that they had to close the Subway. It was short-lived due to the financial issues. So it must be the, where's that? The stress from the Subway fiasco. Fiasco means failure. That is something clearly mentioned there. The subway thing failed. That would be the answer. The, the, if he says the business, it's very general. Subway fiasco, subway is actually mentioned there. It's not general. It's a very specific thing. And if you again read the need to find financial resources, you really won't find anything here that he needs financial resources. In fact, he said that Kate kept her full-time job, which really helped matters once the business went down. So it was okay, they were okay financially because Kate, whoever that is, kept her full-time job. So it's not the need to uh, find more financial resources. You wanna find a specific answer that is actually there, you can read it. It is the subway fiasco. Now, this guy says, even someone, even someone agrees with me. Now, eliminate the wife, okay? Even the wife agrees with me. There's two people talking, who is the wife? It would be even my wife or even your wife, not the wife. So it's either Elizabeth, the doctor, the business. Very uh, likely that it's the doctor because we're talking about the health, okay? But let's continue. Since you mentioned exercise, okay, so obviously it has to be the doctor. Business wouldn't agree with exercise. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, we read two things about her, didn't mention exercise, so it has to be the doctor, okay? And again, the two things we read about Elizabeth was when we were answering this question. Again, if you're lost, that's where uh, we were. If you appreciate my suggestions, I'll strongly urge you to change your habits and start taking medications. Avoid financial burden, not to open a business, just find a normal job. Uh, trust me, this is what you need for your health's sake. So for the health's sake, it's common sense to start taking medications. And if we go up and try to find anything about medications, you would see, he said here, Again, you would have to skim through to find this, all right? But he said, he also gave me some medications, but you know my attitude towards them. So he didn't want to take medications. And that's what the friend is telling him. He's saying, you need to change your habits and start taking your medications. So in the exam, this is gonna be my strategy. I'm gonna look at just this part because I know that they're talking about health here. This whole paragraph is about health. So medication is the most relevant answer. I'm gonna go up and verify that, just this keyword, and I did right here. It works, it makes sense. 
However, this is not the perfect strategy because I should be looking at this and this and this and go up and find similar uh, paragraphs where these things are mentioned. If I have the time, I'm going to come back and verify them. You can do that as well. But none of these things were mentioned where a change of habits is required. Okay, so um, do things like you have to take a few risks because the time is running out. And most likely, if it's an educated guess, not just any guess, like here, we made an educated guess. It's about medications because it's all about health. You should be okay. Okay, next paragraph. So these days, I'm working at a restaurant near a global mall. It's just a good, a simple way to earn a decent living without much stress. Okay, uh, I'll tell you why I highlighted this. Plus, as you know, this helps me avoid bankruptcy. It doesn't make sense. Like if you're working, how would it avoid bankruptcy? It doesn't make sense. Helps you avoid financial issues. Yeah, if you're working. It helps you avoid business disasters. Yeah, if you're not running a business. Helps you avoid stress problems. The problem here is, None of these things are clearly mentioned. Like this is just the person responding. You have to judge here what the person should be saying. This is a judgment interpretation based answer, which a lot of answers in CellPip are. Uh, if you go up, it's it's jumbled. It's general. You won't find a very specific answer. But we can we know it's not bankruptcy. It doesn't make sense in the sentence. Financial issues, business disasters, and stress problems. It has to be stress problems because he mentioned without stress, so it obviously avoids stress problems. The previous paragraphs, paragraph was talking about the health and the most re relevant thing to that to follow up is stress that relates to health. So here it's an interpretation answer. You can't really find it. You have to think like the person responding and guess it. Okay. Why did you even do the subway thing anyway? He's asking, why did you even try that business? There was really no potential in your area. You are, though, quite lucky to have some of your own source of income, a past experience, your wife's money, a family. Uh, well, a family wouldn't fit because they're talking about um, business, work, subway thing, and uh, it, it wouldn't be a family because of that. So either it's the wife's money. Oh, sorry. Okay. Wife's money, past experience, source of income. It cannot be a source of income because Subway failed. So it's no longer a source of income. It's a past experience, which is the logical thing to say because he had an experience with a restaurant or his wife's money. Now we're going to go and look at the wife's thing. He said Kate, Kate kept her full time job, which really helped matters. So maybe it is the wife's money, but he didn't say we're using her money. He said Kate is having her full time job. Maybe that helps paying the bills, but it's not him getting the money. That's the thing with self it has to be very specific. If it's not there, it's not correct. So a better guess would be a past experience because that is definitely true. He had a past experience with Subway. That is for sure. But we don't know if the wife's money there is for sure. We don't know if he's using his wife's money. Honestly, after your experiences, I would like to open my own business. Absolutely not. He failed. So he's not going to open his own business. Um, I have learned a lot that could work. I am interested again, will not work because of course the guy failed. So why would the other guy be interested? And I have no interest in getting a fast food place opened up. This looks good. He has either no interest in it or he has learned a lot from it. Now, again, this is not mentioned anywhere up. You will try to find the answers, which is okay. But sometimes, again, because of the risk of the time, you have to take the risk uh, and look at the question, answer with common sense and move on. If you have time, go back up and check. Uh, but also you can you have a lot of hints all around. You know, this guy said here, why did you even do the subway thing? Like he sounded pretty frustrated. Why did you even try? So why would he say that? I have learned a lot. It's not going to be a positive comment. He's going to continue with the same tone. You want to understand the tone of the person responding. He's going to say, I have no interest in getting a fast food place opened up. All right. In your case, I completely recall how great you were before or you were assertive. You were poor in admin duties. You were you did a bad job at hiring people. Now, again, you would you would have to go back up and read this like the second and third paragraph, even even the fourth one to see his working attitude. Again, you look at the keywords, you see the situation that is being talked about, you go up and you read. OK, if you do, you will find something about his admin duties. There is that keyword here somewhere. Let's check it out. Dealing with employees was a OK. Although dealing with employees was a challenge, it was nothing compared to my administrative weaknesses, which means his admin weaknesses were a lot. They were probably the biggest. That's why, again, th this is simple. You just go up, read it. 
you would know he's poor in admin duties. Similarly, your decision of involving family, hiring a younger staff, and this and this baffles me, which means confuses me. So it's another bad decision because the other guy is confused. He doesn't understand why he made this decision. So once again, same paragraphs where we're talking about work, you have to read and see which keyword matches it more. We know that this is a bad decision this person made. So what is he weak with? He is weak with admin duties. That's already answered. Um, he said, I don't know what knowledge you have in business, but the experience for me was pretty grueling. I'm mean, being the age. He had lack of assertiveness. That's another problem. And the age gap didn't help either. So lack of assertiveness and age gap. Let's see. Uh, you were very assertive. No, he said, I had lack of assertiveness. So that's not going to work. And actually, sorry, we're looking at this part. So in this part, there is no Okay, here. So not being assertive. Now it's not a decision, your decision of not being assertive. It's not a decision. It's a personality thing. You are or not assertive. So that doesn't work. But your decision of hiring a younger staff baffles me. That is a decision to hire them. He did say, again, look at how it's trapped the answer. He said the age gap didn't help. So it means this guy's pretty old. He's suffering cholesterol and he has a wife and daughter. So you can imagine he's pretty old. And uh, the age gap, if that he's saying that, it means the employees are probably younger. Again, it doesn't say they're younger. You have to interpret it. That is self for you. I'm astonished you even remember from the past, over 10 years ago. 10 years ago, uh, something from yesterday. Okay, so it's not from yesterday. Again, you would not write a letter from yesterday. Uh, over 10 years ago and 10 years ago, very close answers. Uh, we'll look up and see where 10 years was mentioned because there's that keyword. And he says it was just over a decade ago, over, okay, a decade ago, you and I were competing over the promotion. Uh, this paragraph is related to that because there were keywords like Mr. Berkeley, Sandy, Sandy. And the only paragraph that talked about it was this paragraph. So that's why we read it. We saw it over a decade ago. Hence, the answer is over 10 years ago. Paraphrased, okay, so obviously don't look at the exact keyword, look at the paraphrased version as well. Keep, keep different synonyms in your head. I had to think about the whole thing for a while, but when I did, I remembered how I still to this day abhor, hate, the decision uh, making part on Mr. Berkeley, Sandy, me, and you. Now, it's not gonna be me and you, because he hated it, so he wouldn't hate himself, he wouldn't hate you. Who are Mr. Berkeley and Sandy? You have to read. Now, if you read this paragraph, um, where is that? If you read this paragraph, Mr. Berkeley was the boss and Sandy was a competitor to this guy. So Mr. Berkeley, again, you can pause and read it. Mr. Berkeley made the final decision of giving the promotion to Sandy, if you read it. So if I'm baffled at some decision, I would not like the decision of Mr. Berkeley to give Sandy the promotion. That one is pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is read that paragraph in more detail. Again, your marketing skill or this skill or this skill might have been the reason for you not making it, but I still don't understand how I was not the top contender, okay? So there's another thing here. Your something might be the reason for you not making it. So what is this problems? Is it marketing skills, lack, shoot, sorry, lack of experience, hard work, or a lack of managerial skills? Let's go up again in this paragraph of Mr. Berkeley and read it. Um, marketing, he said, due to my strengths as a marketing professional, so that's not marketing, that's his strength. Um, I was only second to you since I suffered that weakness. Okay, I was passionate, he's passionate. Uh, what is really ironic is remember our struggle, hard work, sleepless nights, I can argue deserved it more. Okay, so as a marketing professional, hmm, is there something else? So we see that, coming back down, in that paragraph, it didn't help me much, honestly. So, marketing skills, at least I verified that he is an expert there, so that, that doesn't help. His lack of experience, not really mentioned. His hard work, no, because he said we had very hard work, so it's not like he's gonna be weak. Lack of managerial skills, we can see that, actually not in this paragraph, but if we looked up, we had uh, administrative weaknesses. Also, we had the problems with dealing with employees. So again, you can see, he was saying about the he was talking about the age gap here and how it was hard to deal with employees that if you look at it it is managerial these are managerial qualities and he didn't have them unfortunately it doesn't say the word managerial skills but that is again paraphrasing for you this is the correct answer lack of managerial skills 
If you find it, that's what I was trying to do. I couldn't. But again, it looks like it's an interpretative answer. You have to see the whole paragraph, the whole story and judge it according to that. This is the correct answer in this case. Um, nonetheless, you were very right. Uh, you wouldn't have an amazing marriage, an amazing grandchild, bitterness over Sandy's promotion, a lifetime experience had it not been for that event. So I don't think the grandchild happened after that event. Okay, it's probably he got married or he would, he probably has bitterness and a lifetime experience. But again, if you read it, again, when you're going through these questions, you're gonna read these paragraphs. He did say uh, something about Kate, his wife. He said, I don't know about you, but I certainly would have never had the chance to meet up with Kate had I not been working in the same office and department as hers. So that means he wanted to, uh, This because of this, he had a chance to have an amazing marriage. Because of that work, he was able to get married. So there you go with that answer. Finally, we will try to meet up with you soon, keep in touch, send, an, send another letter soon, or bring our kids over. Yeah, well, that all of that could work. Let's see, these things, should be mentioned in the greeting, how each person feels about the other in terms of contacting them. This was the intro, nothing here, it's a starting, but here it says, I've written a lot by now, do send me a letter back to, okay, so send me a letter back. So we will try to send another letter soon, could work, okay? Telling me how you and your family are doing and when you guys can meet up with us, okay? And the next one is, meet up with you soon. So this is very challenging because it could be either of the answers. We will try to meet up with you soon or we will try to send another letter soon. Give my regards to your family and gra being a grand uh, grandfather. So it's either either one of them. The correct answer is this one. Honestly, you guys, here I don't have a good strategy. I'm going to be honest with you. This is messed up. It could be it could be either. There's no keyword or paraphrasing or a strategy that you can use here. It's just your own judgment you have to use, which might be different day to day from the examiner. People think differently. They have different interpretations. It could be 50% this and 50% that. There's always one answer in the whole reading part, one answer in the whole listening part, which is gonna be this way, 50-50. You would not know and you might get that wrong and that's why you at least should get one answer wrong. That is very normal. In this case, I got nothing to say. I'm just gonna tell you that I know that this is the correct answer. No, I don't know why this is not the correct answer, but this is the one. It's 50-50, you pick your poison, and that is the strategy there. Just use your best judgment, uh, educated guesses. It doesn't always work. There's always that one terrible question, and in a reading question, a reading test like this, which is so damn difficult, you can definitely expect one question to be 50-50. There, luck, educated guess, um, and your opinion, your judgment, the way you see it would really work. I also answered this one when I first did it, it just because it sounds natural, that's what I thought. It, it sounds very natural to say this instead of, you know, I'll send another letter soon. I mean, this whole thing is another letter if you think about it, so why would he say that, right? So this makes most sense to me, uh, but again, this is very 50-50. It could be another letter after this letter, so who knows. Uh, but that's it, guys. That's self it for you. Interpretation game, paraphrasing game, keywords game, uh, skimming and doing it quick. And uh, sometimes not reading everything because you don't have time. Uh, you have to guess a lot of times and make it work. I hope this video helped you out. You can always pause between my comments to check out and read it for yourself. Like, share and subscribe. And if you have any questions, there's the comment section down there. Talk to you soon.